Everybody, we're back again. Today we're talking right. about a very exciting topic, Magento <laughs> Upgrade. It's actually one of those things that it's not super exciting to talk about, but it's something that if you're running an e-commerce site that you have to do, especially if you're running a Magento Adobe Commerce site, you have to keep up with the latest versions. And it's good to know what is involved with keeping an Adobe Commerce up to the latest version. Other shopping cart tools such as Shopify automatically upgrade without you having to manually do it, but that also doesn't allow you to have as much flexibility with developing and changing everything the way you want it to work. So you have a lot more limitations with Shopify. Anyway, so we have Lauren here today to help us walk through the upgrade process. Hello. Yep. Yeah. Upgrading your site's like getting your car oils changed, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll just do it next week. I'll just do it next <laughs> week. <laughs> but you keep putting it off and it yeah. costly. <laughs> Exactly. Um, one of the things about upgrading your site can be clients will ask, do I have to do it? Can I wait till next year? Can I do it later? Can we skip it? Typically, we like to recommend to our clients doing it on a yearly basis, mm -hmm. at least prep for the financial cost of doing it on a yearly basis. One of the main reasons why is it actually will keep your costs lower in the long run, keeps your site up to date, keeps your site secure, and makes the process a whole lot smoother and easier in the long run. <laughs> yeah, um, kind of like the oil chain but it's just the more often you do it the cleaner your engine's gonna be so right. it makes it easier the next time you have to clean out the dirt or you know clean up the code if you do it annually then your code should be pretty clean and ready to go from to the next version let's step back a little bit though lauren and i know this is getting to be a kind of a dated conversation but if people are on magento one and they want to go to magento two would you say that's a standard upgrade or what, how do you look at that i would not call that a standard upgrade i would call that a platform change. So almost like going from Shopify to Adobe Commerce or BigCommerce to Shopify, I would say that's a complete platform change with the exception that it's still Magento and you're still getting all the same great features, but going from one to two is the code base is just different. It's a rebuild for your site. The cost to that is way different. Yeah. Like so it's a complete rebuild. Way. It's also the database structure is different. The code base is different. There's nothing that really can be migrated. While this is something that you have to do, especially if you're going to stay on to Adobe Commerce, it's also a time to update your site for a new design or new layout. Mm -hmm. Because since we do have to redevelop everything from the ground up, it's a time that if you weren't super happy with your branding or you wanted it updated, it's the best time to do that. Right? Take advantage of it. Yep. But once you get to Magento, two, then each upgrade should be easier. Should be, if you're staying should on top be. of those oil changes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've talked about this in other videos, but now they have a compatibility tool with Adobe Commerce that will scan your site and flag different code or different extensions that you'll potentially have issues with. Hopefully it continues to get easier, but once again, if you stay on that annual basis, then you really can dial in your cost of upgrades and it should get easier and easier each time. As far as the upgrade process and the upgrade cost, Laura, what could the merchants expect? Say maybe around 20% of what your initial cost for your site build was on a yearly budgeting. basis to upgrade right. budgeting yeah, on a yeah. yearly basis for your site. Whether it's up or down, that can be based on what you're fixing and not fixing. I've seen some upgrades go way smoother than others. Some go smoother for some clients versus others. It really depends on what's being changed in the upgrade. What features do you want to use that's coming with the upgrade? And we just talked about 2.4. And if you're going to use Boppus, then we've got to test Boppus, right? What does that affect in terms of your customizations on your site? 20% seems to be about the number we like to put in people's heads just to save to on a yearly basis yeah. for it yeah and like you said it's hard to estimate for everybody but that seems to be broadly speaking it's kind of like going to the dentist if you go more often your teeth should be healthier you get out there a little smoother but if you haven't been in 10 years and you might have a couple cavities that need to be taken care of that's the thing with the upgrade is if you have had a whole bunch of different developers that don't know magento that well or don't know how to code properly into adobe commerce then you're likely going to have a whole bunch of areas that need a little bit of TLC 
maybe rewriting right. some code and making it compliant. But once you do it, it should be easier to upgrade in the future. And then I think it's good to mention too, is if you have a hundred different apps or extensions, each one of those apps will need to be upgraded. So the number of apps, but the number of apps that you put into your store is also affected your initial cost too. That's why we like to say around 20% for your initial cost. So if you have a super basic, simple store, then it should be pretty seamless. But if you have a whole bunch of custom code, you have a hundred different extensions, and you have a really complex environment, it might take a little bit more time to do that type of upgrade. What we typically do, and I think it depends on the client, if they have the local environment, which all the developers have, then we usually have a development environment, a staging environment, and your live environment. But each one of those environments will do the full upgrade. We'll test to see what issues are. On the local environment, that's where the developers will start changing all the code, make sure all the code works with the latest version, put it on the development environment to have the testers bang on it and try to break stuff. And once they find everything that's broken and issues, they send it back to the developers. Once all of the issues are fixed, then we send it to the client to review. Once that's approved, then we do the staging for a final double check of everything. If the client has a staging environment, then we do another test there. And then we have the go live process. And Lauren, anything that I'm missing there? I guess maybe something a little bit more unique into terms of how IWD handles this process would be once we do the upgrade and our testers bang on it a little bit, we put together a list of what those issues are that we see. And we help the client prioritize what we see as a high priority versus what could be low impact to the customers on your site. And if the client agrees, then we're able to start working on a lot of those fixes. That way, sometimes an upgrade can break some of the tiniest things that no one's going to notice, or maybe 1% of your customers may use that functionality on your site. And right. no reason to sit and wait to push that upgrade live just to wait on getting some of these other little bugs that could be a little bug, but could be 20 hours to fix. So why waste half a week fixing it when your upgrade could go live that week? A hundred percent. No, I think that's a very good point. And this has worked very well with a lot of our mm -hmm. clients to save them money in their budget. We like to be a partner with our clients and try to help them save as much cost as they can as well. And sometimes there's an extension that's not compatible with the latest version. Right. We can spend hundreds of hours trying to fix it. And the client could say, oh, we didn't even know we had that extension. Yep. We don't even use that anymore. <laughs> and then also we spend 100 hours. So we do like to make sure, hey, these are the things that we're seeing are having issues. There are these things that you want to proceed with on uh, spending time on upgrading. Mm -hmm. So I think that, yeah, that's a great point. And extensions is one. It could be custom code. It could be we created some right. fancy wish list and that was five years ago and we don't even use it anymore. Or we right. do and we upgrade it. So yeah, that's very good yeah. to know. I think that's a good way to help keep costs low for some of our clients. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Yeah, and that's just where it's good to have that steady back and forth with the client as far as communication throughout the project and updates of anything unexpected as far as an extension upgrading or whatever, but also just the list of issues and if they want to proceed with the work involved with that. Any other notes that you want to point out? That's the one unique thing I can think of that we'd handle differently than maybe some agencies. Yeah, I would also maybe point out, so you have these major versions, usually about once a year, and I would budget for that once a year. Some clients that are smaller merchants do it every other year, but once again, you do incur more cost because you just have more cobwebs you have to clean up and more dust in the corners. But then there's also, throughout the year, there's security patches. Whenever Adobe Commerce puts out a security patch, it is high highly recommended that you implement that security patch as quickly as possible because Adobe Commerce is an open source platform. People that are malicious do scan the web for people that do not have the security patches and they also get the notification that there is a security hole in Adobe Commerce or Magento too. If you're one of those stores that decides they're gonna skip on the security patch, then you're gonna be a highlight for the hackers to be attacked. Typically, security patches are pretty easy to implement, but you just need to make sure that you're on top of it. Yeah, you should be able to turn around a security patch update within a week less than a week. Yeah, and that's what you want to get done in less yeah. than a week too. Yeah, so, something very yeah, minor, very get it updated. Cool, all right, we just wanted to do a high level. If y'all have any questions about your store or any in particular things, hit us up at iwdagency.com. We're always here to help. We've helped hundreds of stores upgrade to different versions of Magento and consult them on the best ways of doing that. So we're here to help if you have any questions. Yep, bye y'all. All right, see y'all, bye.